Welcome back to the channel. Today I am excited to present you with the Club Grace Premier Pattern for Season 3. Club Grace is a super fun program created by Rachel Hoffman of the Virtual Doll Convention. It includes a monthly subscription of doll-related items, including fantastic outfits, accessories, add-ons, digital products, as well as a pattern of the month. The pattern to kick off this season is called Backyard Barbecue. Backyard Barbecue includes several different elements so that you can create your own one-of-a-kind romper. The romper can be made with crop length pants or shorts. It can be made sleeveless, with sleeves, and also with a neck ruffle. Today's tutorial will feature the romper with shorts, the neck ruffle, and the sleeves as shown here on London Society Grace. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to get started with our project, I've chosen a white cotton fabric for the lining material as well as a woven cotton for the exterior portion. The pattern pieces that we'll need to create this version of the romper is the center front section and side front, the back section and the sleeve, front and back of the shorts as well as the pocket, the sash for the waist, and the ruffle for the neckline. I've laid all of the pattern pieces out with the grain line parallel to the selvage edge and now I'm going to get that quickly cut out and we'll start construction of our outfit. With all of our pattern pieces cut out, I recommend you grab the ones that have curved edges and just take some small clips in towards those curves before you remove the actual paper pattern from the fabric. Next, you're going to grab that back section, place a small hole right at the top or apex of that dart, place it over the pattern pieces, and using a heat erasable marker, mark the placement for that dart to stop. I've already done it on the lining pieces here, and I've also put a pin in the apex in order to know where to stop when I'm sewing over at the sewing machine. Next, we're going to sew the side front sections to the front section. We're going to press those seams open and then we'll get the back sections attached to the front at the shoulder seams. With the shoulder seams pressed open, we're gonna turn our attention to the sleeves. We're gonna do a narrow hem along the sleeve edge, and then we're gonna run a gather stitch along the top of each sleeve cap. You're going to pull the gather stitch gently across the sleeve cap and fit it to the armhole opening. Once you have both sleeves sewn in place, you want to check both sides of the garment to make sure everything looks good. And then you're going to trim in towards that seam allowance and we'll move on to hemming the neck ruffle. You also want to finish the short ends of each edge of the neck ruffle. Once you have that narrow hem created on the neck ruffle, you're gonna run two gathering stitches. And here's what I recommend. I would run one less than a quarter of an inch from that raw edge, and then I would run one more than a quarter of an inch because we wanna make sure that we get a nice tight ruffle all the way around the neck, and it's gonna be really easy to pull out that second 
uh, gathering stitch, which won't be caught by the stitch of basting the ruffle to the neckline. With the gathering stitches in place, we're gonna find the center of the actual ruffle. We're gonna match that to the center of the bodice, and then we're gonna pull the ruffle gathers evenly until we can place it on the front of the garment, leaving one quarter of an inch on each side of the bodice unsewn. Once you have the neck ruffle pinned right side up to the neck opening, you're going to make sure that you have that quarter of an inch of bodice past the ruffle on each side, and then you'll base the neck ruffle into place. You're going to check both sides, make sure everything looks good, and then you're going to grab your 1 8 inch elastic. You're gonna place the elastic about a quarter of an inch from the finished edge of the sleeve. You're gonna tack it in place to start and you're gonna set the uh, sewing machine for a zigzag stitch. Once you have it tacked into place, you're gonna pull the elastic towards you as you sew, creating the gather along that sleeve edge. When you get close to the end, you want to release the tension on it so that you can make a nice even seam. And that's it, super easy. So we're going to repeat that on the second side and then we'll sew the front and the back of the bodice together at the side seams. You want to check both sides of that seam allowance, turn the garment right side out and make sure everything looks good and then you're going to press those seams open. So here's the progress with the bodice so far and I think it's coming together really good. Off camera I went ahead and sewed the lining pieces in the exact same way that I did the exterior portion of the garment minus the sleeves. For the sleeve openings I just did a zigzag stitch to finish that raw edge and for the actual base towards the waist edge I actually turned up the lining a quarter of an inch and gave it a press. So at this point in order to finish the construction of the bodice we're going to place the lining to the bodice right sides together. With the right side up we're going to sew across the neck edge and down the left back opening. We'll leave the right back opening uh, unfinished for now and then we'll zigzag it together later. You will notice when I sewed the lining to the bodice that I actually was careful not to catch the finished ruffled edge of the neck. And I also wanted to make sure that I stopped that seam one quarter of an inch from the waist so that when I sew the shorts onto the actual bodice, I still have room to turn up the lining. At this point, I'm gonna check both sides. If everything looks good, I'm gonna clip in towards the seam allowance, turn it right side out and press the neckline edge. Now that we basically have the bodice constructed and we have the lining attached, we're going to turn our attention to the shorts for a minute and then we'll actually put the two pieces together. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take that back short section and you want to mark the placement for the darts in the back pieces and sew the darts in place. I've taken the darts and sewn them over at the sewing machine. I've pressed them to the side and I've also sewn the center front seam of the shorts. I'm going to press that open and then I'm going to show you how to quickly apply the pockets to all of those pieces. You'll take each of the pocket pieces and place it right to the top waist edge of each piece of shorts. I did want to mention that if you wanted to make the romper without pockets, you can go ahead and do the exact same construction but omit the pocket step. With all four pockets sewn in place, all we're gonna do is clip a few times in towards that curved edge, and we're definitely gonna clip right here at the base of the pocket, and then we're gonna press the pockets out to the side. 
with the pockets pressed out to the side. We're gonna take the back section of the shorts, place it to the front with right sides together and sew the side seam, including that pocket. With the side seam sewn, we're actually gonna press the pockets to the inside and then we're gonna base that right at the top at the waistband edge. The exterior portion of the shorts are done, so off camera I went ahead and did the lining for the shorts in the exact same way, minus the pockets. I'm going to place those two pieces together, right sides together, and I'm going to sew the hem edge. Then I'm going to press that edge and baste the shorts together at the waist edge. We have just two more steps before we actually attach the shorts to the top for the romper. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to zigzag uh, the right and left back opening, the exterior portion of the shorts to the lining, all the way down to that seam. And then we're going to run a gather stitch between between the two side seams, just in front of that seam over the top of the pocket. Once you have that gathering seam at the waistband, you wanna find the center of the bodice and you wanna place the center front seam to the bodice and gather from there, and then you'll match up the side seams. Now that we have that waist seam sewn and the shorts are actually attached to the bodice, we're just gonna press that uh, waist seam up and then we're gonna sew the right back opening closed with a zigzag stitch. Then we're almost finished with the garment, just a few more steps and we'll get the final photographs. I've pinned the folded edge of the lining over that seam allowance and I'm just gonna hand stitch it in place and then we'll actually sew the center back seam. Our romper is just about complete. The last and final step will be to get a fit to a doll, put the snaps in place, tie that waist sash, and take those final photographs. Well, we've made it to the end of another sewing tutorial, and as always, Grace Marie Fitzpatrick looks fantastic. I'd like to take a moment to thank Rachel Hoffman and the Virtual Doll Convention for this continued collaboration. If you'd like to find out more information about Club Grace and the Club Grace digital or physical product subscription, please look for that link in the description below. As always, I thank you guys for stopping by and for watching. If you have any questions, please list it in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.